Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a puzzle game by using TinyTap. In fact, I'm going to show you two variations on creating a puzzle game in TinyTap. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my TinyTap account. And I'm using the web version of TinyTap. I'm going to go into Create. I'm going to make a new game. Let's create our game. And the game that I'm going to create, well, let's set it up with a nice little style here. It's going to be a geography based game. So I'm going to use this style down here that has kind of a mappy background to it. So let's go with that one. And now let's go back up here and we can choose a layout if we like. We can use any of these. I'm going to use just the default here, which is just this big white space. And now I want to add some text here. I'm going to call it All About New England. And let's make that text a little bit larger. Let's go to 96 point. And let's use a different font. Let's mix that up. Let's use the uh, Concert One font. Eh, I don't really like that one. Let's use the Roboto font there. That's nice as well. How about, spec How about one of these other ones? Yeah, there we go. We'll use that one. And let's make sure we've centered it up. So there we go. Let's click Done. And let's drag that up to the top and expand that out a little bit larger. And now I want to put in some pictures. So I'm going to start by looking for a map of New England. And let's just do our search there. And let's say I want clip art or line art. I'm going to go back to clip art here and let's see if we can find one. I like this kind of solid green one. And I'm going to drag that onto the screen and make it a little bit larger. And now let's put in some other images here. I want to put a picture of a moose. Again, I'm just using clip art. So I'm going to use this moose picture. And maybe a picture of, let's say, a lobster. And so let's add in a lobster picture. There we go. We'll use that one. Oh, that's a big lobster. Let's make that a little bit smaller and we'll put it right there. Okay. So we're going to have our moose and our lobster walk into New England. And our game is called All About New England. So, so far, I have created my title slide for the game. Now let's add another slide. And this is where we're going to start to really make our game. And on this slide here, I'm going to go back in and set my style. I want to keep that style consistent throughout. So I'm going to use that blue background there. And let's go in and add in a picture again. And it's going to be called New England. So let's find our New England picture that we used earlier. There it is. And let's make that a little bit bigger. We'll just click and drag to make that bigger and put it on the screen. Now, for this first part of the game, I'm going to have students match the animals that represent the state or the state animal to its proper place on the map. So let's get that picture of a moose again. And we're going to use this moose picture here. And I'm going to put that moose right on Maine. And let's go over here to Vermont. And in Vermont, in Vermont, I'm going to have a horse. The Morgan horse is the state animal of Vermont. So let's put in a horse picture. Full disclosure, I'm not certain that that's a Morgan horse, but I'm going to put it there for now. And you can see there, I can even click and drag and turn it. 
And let's just do one more for the sake of keeping this simple. And I'm going to put in a picture of a harbor seal. And let's get that harbor seal. And we'll put that down here on Rhode Island. And again, I'm going to shrink that down. I'm going to pivot it so that it's a little bit more lined up. And we'll expand the map just a little bit more. So now I have my three puzzle pieces that are going to go onto the map. Now we're going to set our activity. And this is where the puzzle aspect comes to life. Let's set activity. And we're going to use the puzzle type. And to get started, we're going to trace the puzzle pieces. So let's go here and I'm going to trace around the moose. And you can trace as carefully as you like, or you can do it a little more haphazardly like I am here. And now we have that moose cut out. Now, there's a few different options here. If I use this first option, it's going to cut it out exactly as I traced it. If I use one of these other options here, it's going to create a square, a rectangle, a circle, or a triangle. So let's do a square here. And click done and we'll see there's that piece now drag that and I can drag that out and I'm going to create kind of a bank of answer choices here and I'm going to edit this piece and record my voice to go with it this is a moose and so I have some voice recording to go with it now let's go over here and let's trace around the horse And again, I'm going to use this squared piece. And it's going to cut that out. And we're going to record. This is a Morgan horse. And now let's do one for our friend the seal down here. And I'm going to use that kind of squared off piece again. Drag it over here and say, this is a harbor seal. So now I have my pieces and I have my voice recordings to go with them. Now, I have in the left-hand side of the shape puzzle controls, this additional options. And I'm gonna have these pieces bounce back if they're not put in the right place. You can see here, I'm also going to disable hints. If you have hints enabled, students will see the full puzzle as it is complete before they begin. In other words, the whole picture will be together and then it'll break apart when they begin. So I'm gonna disable that and we can have 3D shapes on or off 3D shapes is really just the objects kind of popping off the page. And finally, I'm going to record some directions here for my students. Drag the animals to the states that they represent. And so now my shape puzzle is done and we can preview it right now. Drag the animals to the states that they represent. And so we'll drag this over. This is a moose. This is a Morgan horse. This is a harbor seal. Ta-da! I got my own puzzle correct. Now, I'm going to add another element to this game. And to do that, let's add another slide. And so we're going to go here to add slide. 
and we're going to now edit this third slide. So once again, with this third slide here, I'm going to change this style and make sure I apply the same style that I had before. Let's add that style in. And now I'm going to add in the map of New England that I used in the previous slide. And I'm gonna use again, clip art. Let's get that exact same image. There it is. And let's drag it so that it's a little bit larger. Now, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Now this time, I'm going to create what's called a mixed puzzle in which students will have to reassemble the picture. So to do that, we're going to again, set the activity and we're going to use the puzzle piece again. And we're gonna trace a shape puzzle and this time we're going to have to be a little bit more careful in our tracing or cutting of each piece. And you can see here, I'm gonna to try to trace the border as much as possible here to cut out the state of Maine. And I'm going to use the freehand option there. And I'm gonna drag that out. And I'm gonna write or click on here to add my voice and a little fun fact. Maine is the largest state in New England. And now let's go and trace in New Hampshire. And so you can see here, I need to be pretty careful about following along the border. And I'll add a little note. New Hampshire is the first state in the country to hold its primaries every four years. And we'll have that piece go up there. And let's do one more just for this demo. Let's go down here and trace Connecticut. Connecticut's nickname is the Nutmeg State. And we'll drag that piece over there. So now we'll go into our settings once more. I'm going to add a little direction. Reassemble the map of New England. And I'm going to have bounce back mode enabled. And in this case here, I'm going to allow hints. So now that I have that created, let's take a look at how this element of the game will work. So we'll see our pieces here. Reassemble the map of New England. We'll see our pieces. Maine is the largest state in New England. And if we get them wrong, uh -oh. Connecticut's nickname is the Nutmeg State. Connecticut's nickname is the Nutmeg State. And let's get this last piece New in. New Hampshire is the first in the country to hold its primaries every four years. And we can see I got 88% because I had one attempt that didn't go so well the first time. So that is how you can create shape puzzle games by using TinyTap. And for more examples of this style of game, click the links that are in the description of the video right down below. And as always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.